So, if you want to bypass two restrictions on your streaming stick, like Roku or Chromecast, the most popular way you would do it is by sharing a VPN from your Android phone or from your router. If you haven't watched those videos, click on the YouTube cards to watch them. But, there's also a way to share your VPN from Windows 10, because it normally doesn't. There's always a workaround. The thing is, with Windows 10, Microsoft introduced Wi-Fi sharing over Hotspot, but it cut down on important features like hosted network, soft AP and IVSS. In simple words, it only works with selected computers on Windows 10. And even now, that doesn't work. Well, that's what we're here for. You can still share VPN on your Windows 10 computer with a third-party app. And it works flawlessly with any Windows 10 or even VPN provider. Let's see how it's done, shall we? Before we get started, you'll need a PC running Windows 10 and a reasonably fast internet connection and a VPN provider of your choice. For this video, we'll use SmartNES Proxy's VPN as it lets you unblock two restrictions on video sites such as Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, HBO and much more. Moving on. So open your Windows PC and from Google, download the Connectify app. We'll have a link to that in the description below, like every other video. Once that's done, you have to install it. Now Connectify has its own VPN service called Speedify. Obviously, it's designed to work seamlessly with Speedify, but if you use any other VPN service, we would need the network adapter name in order to configure it with Connectify. In my case, I'm using SmartNES Proxy's VPN and finding the network adapter is pretty straightforward. The method should be the same as any VPN service you're using. Next, head over to the network connections by right-clicking on the start menu. Turn on the VPN now and then head back to the network connections window. You should see an additional connection active apart from your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. Mostly the name would start with Ethernet. Right click on the network connection and then click on properties. In the properties tab you would see at the top of the dialog box the virtual network adapter name. In my case it is TAP Windows Adapter V9. It will be different for you and most probably the exact same name of the VPN service. Note it down as you would need it in the next step. Next up, download and install the Connectify app. It's free. Once you've done that, open it. You'll see multiple options present to configure your hotspot. In order to share a VPN, we have to change quite a few of them. Firstly, change the internet to share option to the network adapter name we found in our previous step. In my case, I will change it to tap Windows adapter V9. Next, change the hotspot name and password accordingly, and then click on start hotspot button at the bottom. If you've selected your Wi-Fi or Ethernet name instead of the VPN network adapter, you'd still get the internet, but the VPN wouldn't be shared. Finally, on your secondary devices, connect to the Connectify hotspot. Once you've done that, your device will show up in the Connectify's client list. Verify your public IP and location on the client device to check the VPN service, and as you can see, it works just fine. Note that the free version of Connectify hits you with some ads and a couple of additional restrictions like the inability to change hotspot name and it doesn't work for a dial-up connection. But for the most part, it works flawlessly. So there you go, that's how you share a VPN from your Windows and computer. Unlike the other ones where it required you to have a special router or a rooted Android phone, this one is rather easy because it requires no technical skills whatsoever. So the next time you want to bypass two restrictions on streaming sites like Roku or Chromecast, keep that in mind. Also check out our other videos that we've done on streaming devices and hacks regarding those, because we love tinkering with streaming devices and such. And Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.